वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल स्वदर्शन माई डियर फ्रेंड्स सो लेटस हैव अ ग्लैंस ऑन यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ सी एन जी एंड सी बी जी सो एज इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज विच आई हैव ऑलरेडी पोस्टेड इन यूट्यूब रिलेटेड टू एकेडमिक्स एंड रिलेटेड टू व्हीकल मेंटेनेंस as i used to offer uh, various courses uh, for the benefit of uh, all the engineering students and even other students also so today actually i have brought uh, the experience of utilization of cng versus cbg the vehicle which is shown here is centro and uh, very recently i went for fitment retro fitment of cng kit in my car so that cng and cvg both i have utilized it and the experience which i am going to share with you it may sometimes will be helping you in deciding or sometimes it may be helping you in its effective utilization so i may not be talking more about uh, the mileage part on this one though certainly i have got an improved mileage no doubt so let me tell you something about cng what actually is cng cng kya hai and uh, it is the present demand understand that it is the present demand and uh, even most of the vehicle manufacturers they have started making vehicles along with cng kit though it will be having traditional uh, petrol engine or diesel engine diesel engine almost all uh, uh, manufacturers they have already stopped it so along with petrol engine only cng kit is coming so the vehicle which is coming with petrol engine cng uh, also can be utilized but that cng full kit has to be getting means it has to be fitted in that so nowadays even vehicle manufacturers uh, maruti hyundai and uh, many other manufacturers they are already bringing their vehicles along with cng option so a petrol option will be there along with cng option so that cng options also uh, will be available in the vehicle and uh, it will be good why cng we are going for now because pollution norms we have to compulsorily follow and pollution norms are becoming more and more stringent day by day and vehicles which are running on the road are also the major contributor in increasing pollution levels being a mechanical engineer i know the implications of the gases which are uh, thrown out or which you can say that from the exhaust pipe after burning uh, the fossil fuel similarly the gases which are coming out from the chimneys of various factories and which are uh, going uh, in the open atmosphere high rise atmosphere and thereby it is getting condensed at higher level and we are in a position to face global warming situation so the global warming uh, condition is increasing day by day global warming means the temperature of earth is increasing so what it happens uh, when the sun rises or it uh, uh, goes from east to west the sunlight it penetrates and come to the earth fine now when in the evening the cooling process starts the same heat means the sunlight which has heated the earth the same heat it wants to escape into this space and now when that heat wants to escape into the space due to that condensed gases condensed gases means uh, what we can say that in the atmosphere that greenhouse gases it becomes much more condensed and it is not allowing the heat to go to the space thereby the heat which has come to the earth 
it is getting retained and due to that retaining of heat most of the glaciers are facing a lot of danger in getting melted if it will be getting melted then certainly full earth will be drawn completely drawn completely we are saying yes so that's why the human life animal life aquatic life all forms of life are in danger all forms of life are in danger now so it is our duty being a citizen of not only india of this world it is our duty to follow the emission norms and now utilization of cng and cbg in the vehicle is much more encouraged means suppose now if somebody is going for purchasing of the vehicle certainly means the car i am telling you not in two wheeler segment it is not available but in four wheeler segment of course cng options are available cbg options are available means uh, the vehicle which are fitted with cng kits in that itself cbg can be used so as i said that cng so where from that cng word has come it is compressed natural gas and this gas actually it is obtained from fossil fuel resources only fossil fuel sources only it is one of the by product of fossil fuel so we are facing danger of getting more and more cng uh, because as fossil fuel reserves are becoming less and less about cbg yes of course it is much more encouraged even i did my phd in utilization of algae fuel algae oil okay so that uh, uh, compressed biogas actually this cbg it is obtained from biodegradable products as we all know that there are many form of waste products uh, which is being created day by day even in household also food uh, waste wastes are there animal wastes are there animal fats are there so from all these resources or we can say that uh, cow dung and all so we can produce uh, by uh, fermentation of that biodegradable products uh, those gases compressed biogases and which can further be utilized as a fuel right of course there will be a difference uh, between uh, the efficiency which you will be getting by utilization of cng and cbg and even petrol and diesel petrol and diesel certainly it gives more efficiency and more performance but we can say that compressed natural gas almost all it is pollution free it is pollution free in most of the major metro cities cng has been made compulsory and it is compulsory to utilize cng no other mode of uh, you can say petrol and diesel has to be used so this type of stringent uh, pollution emission norms has been formed because many of the metro cities are facing high danger in pollution level and uh, the people who are there their life has been shortened for 10 to 20 years due to that pollution level so this cng versus cbg i am going to tell you because i have got in my own vehicle retrofitted so i purchased my vehicle in 2009 at that time that cng option was not available in this particular vehicle though eco uh, vehicle was available i think it was for utilization of lpg but i purchased the vehicle the centro gls in which uh, absolutely Uh, there was no cng it was completely petrol version the engine is in front of you and very recently i went for fitment of cng kit so this type of fitment means after coming out from the manufacturer's place if somewhere outside we are getting it fitted then it is called retrofitment retrofitting okay so retrofitting if the manufacturer themselves they are making the engine uh, tuned for cng and cbg and even for petrol so that will not be called as retrofitment but if externally we go for some type of fitment through external agencies other than the manufacturer it is called retrofitment and that retrofitment i went for you can see very well that all the pipe connections and all external pipe connections are visible i will be also telling you 
and i will tell that how the difference i have observed okay so with the arrow mark i have already shown it that how it is uh, uh, that filling point so here the filling point is near to the engine only not the at the rear of the vehicle yes petrol uh, filling point is at the rear of the vehicle though nowadays there are provisions also to uh, make provision for uh, filling point even near to the petrol filling point there itself it can be made but in my vehicle it is near to the engine and uh, that gas cng nozzle connections and all how it is given that also i have clearly shown in the figure which is at the right now i want to tell all of you that i went for first utilization of cng fine i was even told by uh, my uh, technician who has fitted he informed me that better i should go for utilization of cng only i should not go for cbg right so initially uh, some issues i faced and later on again uh, it was retuned the software was updated and uh, further uh, we went for uh, drive by utilization of cng kit means uh, cng gas and uh, the vehicle has performed very well right it is also recommended as i am telling you it is also recommended that in between uh, every 50 km or 60 km we should switch on uh, the petrol also manually that we can do we can switch on the petrol and we should drive 5 to 10 km and again it should be reverted back to utilization of cng gas so it is just because the cleaning of cylinder and piston heads also should take place if any accumulation of carbon deposits have taken place that will also get cleaned so that's the main motto so that the engine performance will not be going down further i went for utilization of cng fine the vehicle was running very well now once uh, what happened that cng uh, gas was over and uh, nearby cbg gas pump was available i thought let us go and fill the cbg and let us have an experience because for cbg there is no separate kit it is there i know uh, many of my friends who are having cng vehicles though the vehicles which are fitted with manufacturer kit so uh, manufacturer side actually ignition system should be very strong if the ignition system is very strong means it is good powerful then certainly problem will not be there but when i went for cng because it is my old vehicle though uh, immediately after fitment of this uh, cng kit i went for fitting new spark plugs new ignition harness so those things i did and uh, i found that the vehicle was running very well in cng so uh, the vehicle was running very well in the cng it there was no problem then i went for filling cbg and when i filled that compressed biogas products uh, compressed biogas products uh, biogas when i filled that gas and when i switched on the engine the engine was not started properly and uh, i faced a lot of problem the vehicle uh, with jerks it was getting stopped and uh, uh, i started facing difficulty as my ignition system i feel that it was not that much stronger so then what to do whenever the vehicle i am running and uh, in between the traffic also it was not performing very well it was giving jerks and there was a chance for meeting with an accident also so i will not recommend uh, people but as i am saying to all of you that how the problem i got it rectified that particular part i am bringing it in front of you then as uh, some quantity of uh, cbg got reduced in my cylinder i went for filling it with cng though cbg is already available in my cylinder i went for retopping it means completely topping it with cng and i got it completely topped with cng and 
yes the performance came to the normal so when uh, as per me that cng and cbg both have got mixed together and it has given a very good combustible mixture to the cylinder and thereby ignition system performance also became very good and the vehicle has started running well so it is my suggestion that those who have got their vehicles retrofitted with cng kit better if they can go for changing of their ignition system ignition coils and all also at the same time then they may go for cbg also but if they have not gone for changing of ignition system components then if the engine is tuned for cng let them drive the vehicle in cng only yahi sabse acha rahega ki cng gas mein se hi aap vehicle ko drive kare agar aap cbg usme dal dete hain if you are getting filled with cbg then your engine performance will completely uh, go down and it may create it will create problems if the ignition system is not very sound so uh, i got it rectified by mixing it with cng and cbg though uh, people uh, they will not be recommending mixing of two types of fuel but as i went for it and i found it that my problem got rectified so that's the reason i am sharing with this video to all of you so that when you are facing any type of difficulty you may adopt it it is your choice i am not telling anybody how problem got rectified for me after filling with cbg and i faced a lot of difficulty then again the vehicle did not perform well again i went for retopping it retopping it means i did not completely drain the cylinder yes of course cbg is still there cbg and cng is also getting filled and then i found that the vehicle has performed well so this is the information i want to give it to all of you this is one of the value added courses which also i am offering to all the engineering students and other school students especially related to two wheeler and four wheeler maintenance which everybody can do in their home so thank you very much if you have liked my video then please subscribe like and please share with maximum people and this is my training center in salem tamil nadu so this is for the information of all of you thank you thank you very much